Shannon Lizakeski, and this video is how to distill vodka. On April 14, 2010, I had the opportunity to visit Cedar Ridge Vineyards in Swisher, Iowa to see the distillation process firsthand. works at Cedar Ridge and takes care of the production of their products. He's in charge of running their system and did a run of vodka on the day that I visited. Distilling vodka requires a $300,000 system such as the one here that was handcrafted in Germany for Cedar Ridge Vineyards. The first step in distilling vodka is to receive an order of mash or ethanol mix made from corn. This particular pot holds up to 100 gallons of liquid, 80 of which are below the door. Rinse the pot. The ethanol mix must be brought into the production area. Measure out the desired amount of ethanol mix and pour it into the pot. Next, measure out fermented apple juice to add to the pot to enhance the flavor and the aroma. Using the system controls, add in water. A measuring device, such as this one, floats in the pot and measures the gravity and proof of the mix. In order to legally be called vodka, the mix must reach 190 proof at some point in the distillation process. Next, turn the system on and troubleshoot any warning lights. The control panel has individual heating controls for the columns, as well as temperature displays. The system also has controllable agitators to stir the mix and help uniformly heat it up. Reconfigure the system pipes to direct the flow of the vapors. Place a bucket under the tap to collect the product. You can see the condensing of the liquid in the column as the temperature rises. By controlling the temperature of the recondenser at the top of the column with a spring located on the side of the system, you can control the timing and the proof. Heads are the first to come out of the process. Heads have all of the impurities that were stripped out and has a strong smell of the worst cheap vodka you can imagine. Colin is able to smell the heads and know when it switches to hearts or the vodka product that they will keep and later sell. Once hearts are done, tails run out of the system. Tails can be run again through the system to separate more usable vodka product from the remaining impurities. Using the same measuring device as before, Colin checks the hearts for specific gravity and proof and records it in a log. The vodka hearts are poured into large vats. Then it's run through a series of carbon filters to remove any impurities that got through the system during the distillation process. The final steps are to fill the bottles with this machine cork the bottles, and label them with a labeling machine before boxing them to be shipped. <laughs> 